Welcome to the AACS Daily News. Visitors to Capron Park Zoo over the next month are in for a special surprise as there is a new unique exhibit featuring animals made of small bricks. We stopped by the zoo to take a look. Good morning, this is Melanie Fernandes, Curator of Education at Capron Park Zoo, talking to you about our Brick Live Animal Paradise exhibit we have here at the zoo through the end of August. Over my shoulder here, you can see one of the examples. They're absolutely amazing. They're made with plastic bricks, and they are put together uh, by people who have this vision of what these animals will look like and in the settings that they're in. Now, the one over my shoulder is a leopard, and although we're close right now, and you can see the individual bricks from right here, when you come in through the entrance, it is, I, every time I see it, I have to stop and pause and make sure that it's not actually our leopard having escaped from her exhibit. This exhibit here, this brick exhibit, took 82,253 bricks to put together and 340 man hours to complete. Now, it didn't come in a single piece like this. Our operations department received these pieces in sections and then had to put them together in the areas of the zoo where we put them. They also have pretty significant weight. I don't have the exact poundage in front of me right now, but it looks like it's just plastic bricks, but I promise you it took forklifts and multiple people to get these things maneuvered into the positions where you see them around the zoo. Now they're all over the zoo, and they're in places that sort of match up with where the animal is, other than like this leopard, as everyone knows, she's out in the back of the zoo. But this one's here because it's a more natural looking place where you might see a leopard, in Africa on a tree in the leaves and they're built to be camouflaged to hide in trees like this. As you go along our path you'll see a panda and her cubs. You'll see a red rough lemur. You'll even see a crocodile and it's hard to tell what's real and what's not. Our operations staff has done an amazing job of putting these out and we have to give kudos to our assistant director Brenda Young who got a grant from the Massachusetts Office of Business Development for $166,000 to do various improvements around the zoo, including get this exhibit here for the summer. That's the largest grant the zoo has ever received, certainly from the state of Massachusetts and from really anywhere else. Looking back at these bricks alive, they really are brick alive. They, they certainly look like they're animals uh, in the zoo. They are life-size. This is about the size of an African leopard. You walk around the zoo, there's a brown bear and her cubs. It's life size. There's even a 13 foot tall giraffe, which is the size of a young or female giraffe. So come on down to the zoo, take a look at these animals, enjoy a nice day, get on the splash pad, see our collection, and of course, enjoy the Brick Live Animal Paradise exhibit. This exhibit will be on display through August 31st is when we will start having to pack it up and ship it out to its next location. These exhibits have been seen literally at zoos all over, not just the country, but the world. Marwell Wildlife and uh, the Whipsnade Zoo in uh, England are two examples that have had these uh, same sculptures at their facility on exhibit. So Capron Park Zoo is really lucky to be able to get this exhibit here this summer for everyone to enjoy. Capron Park Zoo, if you don't already know, is open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily. That is the final ticket sold at 4 p.m. As long as you're through our gates at 4, you can stay till 5 when our keepers will start closing up the zoo. You can find more information, including concessions menus and things like that, at capronparkzoo.com. At this time, because of the state restrictions, we do not require masks in the zoo. I get a lot of calls, people asking about that. We also do not offer advanced ticket sales. You can get them at the door, but we are at nearly 100% capacity daily, so you have plenty of uh, space, so to speak, to get in the zoo. We don't have any capacity limitations. You should definitely come on out and check out these exhibits before the end of August, and they leave us for the year. It's absolutely worth the trip.